Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Software-defined storage has brought a lot of good things to the data center. It's abstracted the storage software from the storage hardware, providing flexibility and allowing you to pick a lot of different hardware solutions but still manage them as if they were one. The problem is, though, is really what all we've done is taken the core software and moved it into appliance. We haven't leveraged the fact that now we should have this single view into all of our storage assets. And what we're really looking for is some innovation to let us do some new and different things at the storage hardware layer through software-defined storage. So to talk about some of the innovation that's coming out, I've invited uh, Tim Sheets. He's the VP of Global Marketing at Falcon Store. Tim, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, George. So let's talk about this innovation thing a little bit. So you got some silos up on the board. Well, you, you hit on a really interesting thing. You know, it, is people look to go software-defined, whether it's software-defined data center, infrastructure, storage. One of the things that we're doing is abstraction, right? We're virtualizing things, we're abstracting right. it across, you know, horizontally to, to get better efficiencies out of it. Right. But that's not enough, we're finding, right? When, when people start to go horizontally across an infrastructure, they need a lot more information about what's going on. Just having basic information in, for, in a storage realm, for example, just because I can see the capacities, mm -hmm. and then I might be able to share the capacities, to reclaim it, reprovision it, right. That's not enough information. How do we know what the workloads are, what the consumption rates are, you know, what the performance is, where I have bottlenecks? If I take from C to give it to B, I might be making a bad decision because right. if C is consuming it very, very quickly and I don't know that, I just made it harder on, on in that environment, not better. Sure. So I think you know, from an industry perspective, how do we start looking and going horizontally? We need the analytics, right? Okay. We need to introduce analytics across the platforms. Now, in our industry, some people have some phenomenal analytics on their own platform. Right, but they're siloed just to that one box, right? Absolutely. Okay. What we need is we need to be able to start going across and taking that holistic horizontal view. When you do that, now not only can I get better efficiencies, mm -hmm. but now I can figure out how do I optimize my environment. We have our clients up here, right? We, we, we have our clients and they're running the workloads and they're, they're pulling in from the pool, right? And that ultimately goes down to the physical storage. Right. What happens is we need to understand today in context to that whole data flow, that whole data path. Right. From the client to the line to the pool and down. So yeah. like an end-to-end -end view, basically. That's right. Right. So I need to be, you know, <laughs> wide and deep. Right. A and today, a lot of guys have that analytics here right. within their own silo, within their own platform. Right. And it's really good. But again, if I'm running out of capacity on B and C has excess capacity, I need to be able to see, hey, what's the consumption rate? Sure. What's the workload? Does the, does the performance match the workload that I need to now provision you know, right. to? Those are the kinds of things where we need that innovation. Sure. Well, and I would think another area was, let's say I'm getting ready to spin up a new application and I've got all these, uh, I've got A, B, and C. I, I probably want to know which is the best one to put, where should the best place to put my data store based on availability and performance and things like that, right? Right, and, and so when we abstract, we can create these you know, classes or tiers of storage within mm -hmm. this till I've got a performance tier, a cost tier, a cold tier, right. or maybe it's sites, or if I'm multi-tenancy, you know, I could have that virtual dissection and domains for my tenancies, or maybe I need that physical separation. Okay. So this could even be like at a customer level then too as well, That's like sub-customers. That's the key. We need okay. a way to approach this. We're no longer looking at it at the physical. We're looking at it in a virtual realm, but that realm allows us to have the flexibility to adjust by my environment, my business, and my requirements. Okay. So now, obviously, you know, working for Falcon Store, I assume you guys are kind of heading down this path with the software? We are. I mean, we launched Free Store last May, and that gave us the abstraction level to be able to start, you know, getting better efficiencies there. We are coming out very quickly now with analytics. So now we sit in the data path between the client and the actual physical storage. We're in the perfect place to capture what's going on. Okay. Not just in terms of capacity utilization and that, but now we can understand how the workload's going. I can see end to end from the client to the line, to the pool, to the physical storage, regardless of the vendor, regardless of location. If I'm an enterprise, as say multiple data centers, now through a single pane of glass, I can look across all of it. 
I can be more efficient with my guys. Could this also be at a virtual machine level as well? Absolutely. Okay. One of the beauties of what Freestore does is we, we deal with both physical and virtual in one environment. So you can have that, that hybrid approach to storage. You don't have to have one solution for your virtual, a different one for your physical. For example, service providers tend to really like this. If they're snapshotting, let's say they, they're, they're doing a local on-premise uh, with a virtual machine, they're snapshotting, replicating back to their hosted data center mm -hmm. with no new hardware. If they needed to go provide disaster recovery service, he could literally convert from physical to virtual on the fly and get that customer back up and running in a virtual environment in literally minutes, not hours, not days. Wow, that's fantastic. The other thing I hear, especially in this kind of multi-tenancy world, mm -hmm. uh, also even with larger enterprises, is the demand for kind of setting service levels. How about, can you guys do that kind of thing as well? Well, again, when you sit in the middle of the data path and you've got the analytics of what's going on from the clients you know all the way down mm -hmm. you can begin to look at different levels of, of uh, performance is it bandwidth is it IOPS is it latency mm -hmm. but now because I have that end-to-end -end view I have the ultimate way to start peeling back the onion and, and understand what's happening I can go take both proactive and reactive monitoring to this for example if I'm running an Oracle database mm -hmm. and the Oracle administrator calls up and said hey the performance is terrible right first thing I look at is okay what's been provisioned to the LUN what does that look like from a performance to latency perspective sure now I can drill down into the virtual LUN now I can look at the storage pool all the way down to the physical storage and I have a way to figure out what's going on and troubleshoot so I have a faster time to resolution so now what you just described prior to what you guys are getting ready to come out with here uh, I mean that was probably three or four different tools that you would used to have to do to diagnose that and then somehow correlate all that. Now you're saying, so I'm getting that this is all on one screen basically? That's right. Free Story gives you that single platform so I can do my troubleshooting with the analytics. I can figure out how to optimize performance so that if I see, for example, something's not getting enough IOPS and I'm, meeting, I'm not hitting that threshold that I set for myself or for my customer service that I'm trying to deliver as, as, a, as an MSP, Maybe I need to go now move that to a faster tier of storage or add more spindles. Or maybe I'm getting a lot of latency issues on a consistent basis. Maybe I need to go look at moving it to a different zone on the fabric or, hey, get the network guys involved to figure out, hey, do I have a router problem somewhere? Again, FreeStore can't solve the problems, but now, not only can I provide you the data services, I can help you be more efficient through the virtualization and the abstraction. Now with the analytics, you can be figure out how to get that faster time to production revenue and ultimately right, help them solve problems faster. And that's really the key is with IT professionals, they're stretched too thin already. If we can give them tools that makes them more efficient and we can have less people managing storage, that's going to be a big win for everybody, right? It is. And that's why we came out with the analytics. We had the abstraction layer. Now we give them the insight of what's going on that helps them make informed decisions and now take intelligent action. They don't have to use a collection of tools. They've got one interface they can do it from. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Tim. Thanks for having me. So there you have it. It's time now to take the next step in software-defined storage. The first step was beneficial, just abstracting uh, software from the hardware. The next step, though, is to use that and leverage it and make us even more efficient. And you saw an example here by having analytics and service levels. You can now do things much more quickly that used to take three or four different tools to do. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.